It's June 23rd, 2018. I'm fishing around Lake Winnebago today. I've got a trip planned with my nephew tomorrow and I wanted to try to find fish today. So we have some more time to fish tomorrow. We're not just trying to run around and find fish. If this is your first time here, I'm an avid fisherman. I live in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I fish the Lake Winnebago chain as much as I can. My current project is to become a better fisherman and to try to do that. I'm documenting 100 fishing trips in 2018 and I'm posting the results to YouTube. Hit the subscribe button if you want to follow along and hit the little bell icon if you want to make sure you get all the updates. Last year we had quite a mud bite. Uh, every time I came out to a certain area in the mud on, on the west side of the lake, I was able to catch fish. Maybe not a lot of fish, but two or three just about every time I went out. Same area, so it was just a very enjoyable way to fish. But this year, as hard as I tried, I, I haven't been able to find them. I haven't had a whole block of time to to do it. This year I hit the fish in the, in the same area once, but I haven't been able to string together any consistency. So today I wanted to take the time and just run around and try to find you know, as many pockets of fish as I could, and I tried, I think, nine times, I, I tried uh, nine different areas to troll. I was only catching small walleyes, I, I didn't see any big, bigger fish. And then I, uh, just to break things up a little bit, I started to wonder if maybe they're on the reef, so I I started jigging the reefs a little bit in my standard pattern, shallow water, with a 16th ounce jig, and I did catch a lot of sheep's head, caught a few perch, uh, but no walleyes, not even small ones, so I figured they had to be somewhere, and I was, you know, just kind of stumped, so then I went on the east side of the lake, I went to the east side of the lake, and then I found an area full of bait fish in the mud, um, I guess I'm... So then at that point I decided, well, I'm just going to try a little bigger lure. I tried a flicker shed. I tried a flicker shed 11 and various colors, and right away I, I started catching fish. I caught three in about 20 minutes, and then took me about an hour to get the, the fourth. So I was, I was fairly happy about that. I You know, it's funny because I'm one step away from giving up, and, you know, on one hand, if I would have given up, I, I would have been... You know, starting at square one, hey, you know, maybe I'm not as good as this as I was hoping, or maybe I'm not getting as good as this as, as I've been hoping. Um, and on the other hand, um, once I started catching the fish, it's like, well, this really works, and I'm able to mark fish, and I'm able to find the conditions that the fish are in and catch fish. Funny how your mindset can hinge on one little random event, of, you know, like catching a fish. Uh, I started thinking about why I wasn't catching them the first nine times I stopped. I, I would say they're very similar conditions even after I was catching the fish on the east side. I ran around to try to figure, well, what's different? You know, what can I see that's different? And I really couldn't see anything. I couldn't see any bigger marks. It was just, it's still, it's still a little bit of a mystery. So the other thing that comes to mind is maybe I just missed them the first time. Maybe the fish were just ready to bite. If I would have tried different techniques and different presentations, maybe they would have bit. Um, in the, you know, at least some of the first nine times. It's just something I need to think about and try a little harder individually, you know, just to keep my eyes open and to see if I can figure out why.
Fisher 47 out of 100 of my effort to be a better fisherman. Hit the subscribe button if you want to follow along. Today I caught three walleyes and a sauger. I'm just going to call it four walleyes for a total of the year of 80. With this information, let's get out and fish. 